Today is just going to be another sit down and talk video. Um, I've seen a lot of videos around YouTube. I've been watching YouTube videos for a while now. And I've seen a lot of videos on, you know, travel channels, vlog channels, tech review channels. They all have videos similar to what's in my travel bag, what's in my tech bag, stuff like that. So I thought I'd make my own little uh, video like that. What is in my cross country track bag, workout bag, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we'll just start off with basically the front pocket right here. Uh, the front pocket for me always has little accessories, a lot of winter stuff in here. So I have my headband. Um, when you have hair like me, you definitely need a headband. I have all kinds of different types of gloves, uh, toboggans, stuff like that. Literally, I think I have like five different pairs of gloves in here. And then I have um, kind of like a neck protector thing for the wind. Uh, another toboggan, uh, more gloves, but yeah, that is basically what's in the front pocket here, um, along with that headband. And then we will go to the side pocket over here, have a water bottle. Uh, this is just a bottle of water that I bought, and it was a metal container, so I just thought I'd reuse it over and over again. That works really good. On this side, I have my new camera that I carry around all the time to record footage for you guys. Um, we'll start at this little tiny pocket up here. Um, I have another headband just for my hair and then uh, earbuds. I have the, they're like old Beats, uh, Power Beats, um, but I use these, you know, when I am running alone on longer runs and stuff like that. Love to throw my phone in the back of my, uh, you know, half tight pocket and kind of listen to music. And then we will get into the main compartments. Um, I have our roller in here. Uh, always necessary always have a roller um, and then in the back of my trunk I also have a like yoga mat that I sit on um, to roll out and stuff like that can't fit it in this bag so I just leave it in the back of my trunk um, have my trainers in here as well I'll put these back on the ground um, and then I also have two shoes over here to the side I have uh, the carbon X's and the four percents um, I guess you could throw track spikes and cross-country spikes in with this too I would have these in my bag, uh, couldn't fit all of those in my bag though, so I just set them out to the side. Carbon X's I would use for workouts, longer runs, stuff like that. And then 4% I would use for road races, 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, stuff like that. And then you could add in, uh, honestly, I would bring my uh, cross country spikes for cross country races, track spikes for track, track races, stuff like that. Uh, we'll just zip this front compartment back up and then there is a little back compartment back here that I like to keep um, socks in, extra pair of socks uh, after the run. This is always good just because my socks are drenched and or um, if you are racing, um, especially like cross country races in high school super early in the morning, you go up for a warm up run. I know some people warm up on the course. Um, usually the grass is a little bit wet from the night before, so usually your socks tend to get wet. So my coach always told us to bring an extra pair of socks that we could change into after our warm-up just so we are racing in a dry pair of socks, and honestly, it's kind of stuck with me. Have an extra pair of socks, and then a towel is always useful um, for summer runs, uh, especially here in Ohio. It gets super humid, so I'm sweating a ton, so I love to bring a towel with me just so I can dry off after the run. And then I also like to sit on this on the way home just so my seats aren't getting super gross. And then an extra shirt, I uh, bring extra sh shorts sometimes too, just in case, you know, sometimes people want to go out to eat afterwards, hang out afterwards, love to have some extra clothes on me just so I can change into other stuff after my workout so I am not uh, gross and stuff like that. But that is basically it for my uh, cross-country racing workout bag. Whatever you want to call this, running bag is probably what I'll title this video. But that is basically it for this little video. Just wanted to sit down and make a short little short little video about this. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys in future videos.